I'm Jake Eagle, and this is my twin sister, Jennifer. Together, we're the Eagle Eye Detective Agency. With your help, we'll be solving all kinds of mysteries in our hometown, Richfield. But before we get started, let's show you around a little. Richfield's a small town, but there sure is a lot going on. Let's roll, Jake! Park. We caught a pickpocket here at the last spring fair. Tons of stuff goes on here, from dog shows to skateboard tournaments. It's a great place to interview witnesses. Last month, we tracked down car thieves working out of this vacant lot. We sure could have used your help on that one. Separating the important clues from the red herring takes a lot of brain power. That's Pizza Pizza Palace. Excellent. And next to it is the pawn shop, where we found Mandy Lipper's stolen earring. Sometimes clues turn up in the weirdest places. This is the Grant River. It looks a lot nicer now since we helped stop Hanson's milk from dumping their toxic waste there. Once Professor Crank helped us to prove where the gunk was coming from, they had to clean up their act. Science facts can help us solve cases too. Garcia sure was impressed when we caught the burglar that robbed her house. We followed his trail to the church where he hid the loot. After all the help that Mrs. Garcia gives us at the library, it was nice to help her out for a change. And here's our treehouse, the eagle's nest. The Eagle Eye Agency headquarters packed full of high-tech computer stuff. Even our own telephone and police radio. And you'll be our newest investigator. Ready to put your sleuthing skills to the test? Let's go! Hello, I'm Jake Eagle. Welcome to the Eagle Eye Detective Agency. We're glad to have you here. Just click the mouse button when you finish reading what I'm saying. Be sure to read the instructions we'll give you in a few moments. We'll tell you how to use the computer to get around in Richview. Glad to meet you. I'm Jennifer Eagle. Richview is only a small town, but there are plenty of mysteries to solve. We can sure use your help. That's right. Sometimes you'll see clues that we might miss if we didn't have you around. With your help, we can make Eagle Eye the best detective agency in the whole state. This is our headquarters, where we start all our investigations. We call this treehouse the Eagle's Nest. You two had better get going. Nancy Marks, who helps us here at Eagle Eye, just called in with a problem. It will make a perfect first case for you. Great idea, Jake. Come on, let's go meet Nancy. She's over at the Quarter Time Arcade right now. When you see the map on your screen, look for the flashing red diamond. That marks the spot in each mystery that we'll want to visit first. When you click your mouse on the town map, you'll see a close-up of that part of town. The sites that we can visit in each mystery are marked with name boxes. The site that we want to go to first will always be marked with a red box. Right now, that'll be quarter time, up by the mall. There's Nancy over there. Let's see what's up. Use the mouse to point at the glowing box around Nancy, then click the button. Hi, Jennifer. I think someone's playing a trick on us. Check out this note I found in my locker. It says, bet you can't guess who I am. 
I left clues at quarter time, Kennedy School, and Richview Community Bank. I dare you to figure it out. The note is signed, The Mystery Guy. That is mysterious. Have you looked here for a clue? Yes. There was a piece of paper with the word clue written on it in felt pen on the side of the Marked Man video game. That sounds like a clue, all right. Let's ask these guys about it. Use the mouse to click on the glowing box around the guy you want to talk to. Then click the button. You want to ask me for help? Hey, you eagle eye guys are supposed to be so good at solving mysteries. Go find clues for yourselves. Don't pay any attention to the way Mark talks. Deep down, I think he'd like to be part of the Eagle Eye Detective Agency, like you and me. But we won't let him in because he makes so much trouble around town. Excuse me, I'd love to talk, but I'm about to enter level 9 on this goblin droids machine. I don't know anything about any mysteries or clues or anything. Now we have some clues and two suspects, Mark and Alex. I've entered the information in my portable computer notebook, so we can check it out at any time. When you're ready to leave, point the mouse at my feet and click the button. That will take you back to the map. But before you do that, let's look at the computer notebook. When you want to look at the computer notebook, click on the notebook in my hands. You'll see all the clues you've collected so far. Clicking on it a second time takes you back to the place you were investigating. I have a hunch about who the mystery guy really is, but we need more proof to be sure. Let's go look at the other places mentioned in the note. Click on my feet to go to a different location in town. The note said there was a clue here at the bank. Remember, click on my computer to see the notebook and click on my feet if you want to go somewhere. Hello, kids. Take a look at this. Someone stuck this piece of paper on the wall of the bank. All that's written on the paper is the word clue. That's weird, all right. Where was it on the wall? Right over there, where we list the values of foreign money. People trade American dollars for money from other countries before they go on trips to those countries. The note was right next to the price we charge for German money. The German unit of money is called the mark. Be sure to investigate all the sites described in the note before you try to solve the puzzle. If you think you're ready to solve the mystery, click on my computer to look at the notebook. Then click on the Solve button. Here we are at Kennedy School. I wonder what clue we'll find here. Remember, click on my computer to see the notebook and click on my feet if you want to go somewhere. Look, on the blackboard, there's a big chalk mark and someone has drawn an arrow to it and written the word clue. Be sure to investigate all the sites described in the note before you try to solve the puzzle. If you think you're ready to solve the mystery, click on my computer to look at the notebook. Then click on the Solve button. We're ready to name the mystery guy. Use the mouse to click on the five clues that tell us who that person was. Clicking on the up and down arrows will show more clues on the screen. Those clues add up, all right. Now spotlight the person who you think challenged us to solve this mystery. That's it. Mark Moriarty is a mystery guy. He left a strange challenge in Nancy's locker at school, and you can show how and why. Someone left a note in Nancy's locker at school challenging the eagle-eyed detectives to figure out who wrote it. The note was signed, The Mystery Guy. We saw Mark and Alex at quarter time. The word clue was stuck to the side of the marked man video game. 
at Kennedy School, we found a big mark on the blackboard with the word clue next to it. At the bank, the word clue was left next to the sign listing the value of the German mark. Marked man, the mark on the blackboard, the German mark. What do they all have in common? They all were marks because they were all left by Mark Moriarty. Before you start your first case, I should tell you about our scrapbook. Whenever you solve a mystery here in Richview, we paste something about it in our book. Newspaper articles, letters, whatever. It's fun to read all about your cases. Let's look at the article on this one. 